Last section is 2D table. We will introduce how to create tables, such as bomb table, how to edit tables, such as modify balloon location, synchronize bomb table with part attribute, and how to import and export the table. This is a reducer assembly drawing. It includes three different views. In Sheet Manager, each view contains assembly information. To more clearly see the internal structure, hide the cover component on top view. Next, create a bomb table. Select the view and enter a name for the table. Add material, designer item. Remove cost and number item. Click OK. Item balloons are generated, and insert table command is automatically activated. Just need to define the location point. Next, let's edit the balloons in the new order and modify balloon locations. Drag and drop any balloon to the new location. Change the arrow position of balloon 6 by modify table balloon command. Double click to modify balloon text. Change 6 into 4. Continue to address others. Change 10 into 8. We locate the last one and change it into 10. Finish. It is more clear now. Take a look at this table. It needs to be modified and put items in order. Right click, Edit Table. Define the needed sort. OK, Bomb Table is updated. Now, Back to the modeling environment. Let's check some part attribute information. This is a big key part. On part attribute table, there is no description information. Return to assembly and go into 2D sheet. Edit the table. Click Open Editor. Here, we can edit or add these attributes. For example, add description for big key part. Do it again. Add description for small key part.
click OK and finish it. See, the table is updated. Next, let's synchronize the BOM table with part attribute. Right click, choose the synchronization command. Return to the modeling environment to check part attribute. This is the big key part. The description information is added. Let's see the small key part. The attribute is also updated. Same with 2D sheets information. Go back to 2D sheets again. Last, let's see how to export and import table. Right click the table, select the export function, save as the Excel file. Then, check it. Open this Excel file. We could edit it by Excel function. For example, add some description. Save it. To confirm the import table function, I create a new sheet. Right-click Import Table and select that Excel file. In this table editor, we can edit it again if needed. Insert Table. Check it. So these are all the functions about 2D sheets.